everyone so I'm back today with a video that is going to be all about skincare and I'm just going to be going through the skincare that I use on a daily basis and just to give you a very quick rundown on my skin type I have quite combination skin so I have areas kind of around my t-zone that are a little bit more oily and then I also have areas that tend to go a little bit dry and I also have really quite sensitive skin. With skincare I think it is pretty much trial and error for what works for your skin. You have to try these things to know obviously whether they're going to work for you. So I have tried quite a lot of skincare and I've come to the conclusion that if it works for you stick with it because obviously your skin responds well to it. So on that note I will get started on showing you my daily skincare routine. Hope you enjoy! So the first products that I'm going to talk you guys through are the products that I use in the evenings to basically remove all of my makeup and the first thing that I'm going to show you which I use as my cleanser is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Now in regards to cleansers I don't like to spend a huge amount of money on cleansers. I prefer kind of the much more basic high street cleansers because I get through cleansers very, very quickly. So I just feel like I can't justify spending a huge amount of money on cleansers that I use for everyday purposes because I do just get through them so quickly. So this is the one that I'm using at the moment and I'm really, really enjoying it. As you can see, it is a very watery consistency, so I find that it's very refreshing to use on your face. It removes your makeup really, really, really nicely, um, and you do just feel very, very clean after using this. It does say that it hydrates, but for me, I'm not so sure about that. I find it's almost a tiny bit drying on my skin. Nothing major, but... I wouldn't say that this hydrates necessarily. For me, I use a moisturiser for that purpose rather than kind of relying on this to hydrate my skin. But I love using this. It's very refreshing, like I said, and it really does do the job very nicely of getting all your makeup off. It does actually say that it's for face, eyes and lips. I don't use this on my eyes because I have really sensitive eyes and I have another eye makeup remover that I prefer to use on my eyes instead of this. So I don't use this on my eyes but I think it's a great product that you can use on face, eyes and lips. It's kind of those all-in-one type things which is very handy and you don't need to rinse it off which I also think is very useful. It's very easy to use, very quick, and it does the job really well. So I've been absolutely loving using this. After I've cleansed my face, I then move on to toner. And toner is one of those funny things that I kind of think people either love or think they're a complete waste of time. I don't know. I'm, I like to use a toner just because I feel like if there's any traces of the cleanser left or any tiny bits of makeup left on your face. I just feel the toner does that extra job of just making sure it's all completely gone off your face. So I do quite enjoy using a toner and I really enjoy using this one. I've used this for quite a long time now and one, I love the smell of it and two, it is quite nice and hydrating. This is the Vitamin E Hydrating Toner from The Body Shop. And it does actually say that this is for all skin types. And I also think it preps your skin nicely for the next products you're going to put on. So I do actually really enjoy using a toner. And this one I've enjoyed and repurchased quite a number of times because I do really like it. The next product that I'm going to talk to you guys about, let me just grab it, is a serum. And the serum I've been using lately is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum and there's been an awful lot of hype about this product and I really wanted to absolutely love it and I wanted it to work absolute miracles on my skin and I wanted it to live up to the hype. For me, I like it but I don't love it. I only use a very small amount of this on my skin after I've used my toner and my main reason for that really is because the smell of this is not that pleasant. I'm sure it's a good thing in a way because it probably means there's not too much junk in it but it says it's supposed to brighten, exfoliate, plump lines, evens hyperpigmentation and increases circulation for instant radiance. I don't know whether I've seen 
those results on my skin yet but I'm going to, it's quite new to me this product so I'm going to keep trying to use it and see whether over time I enjoy it more. At the minute I'm kind of undecided. Skin is so specific, everybody's skin is very different and one product might be amazing on one person but not so good for you. So like I said before it really is very much a question of trial and error with skincare and I really wanted to try this. Maybe it'll work for me, maybe it won't but hopefully over time it will be amazing. Actually if any of you guys have any recommendations for a serum that you know is really good I would love to know because I am on the hunt for a serum that I really love and this one at the minute just isn't as good as I had hoped it would be for me. Anyway, so moving on to moisturiser and the moisturiser that I have been absolutely obsessed with is this one. Ah. This is the Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Face Cream. This is amazing. I literally cannot tell you how much I love this product. I used it quite a number of years ago and for some insane reason I went away from it and I don't know why because I remember loving it when I first used it so I think because I went through a phase of wanting to experiment with all different skincare I left this one behind and recently I've picked it up again and my skin is so happy that I've started using it again. I genuinely have seen such a difference since I started using this product. It's really, really hydrating. If I have any breakouts, this seems to kind of soothe it and make any little spots that you have not quite as angry or quite as red. Seriously, I cannot rave enough about this. The only thing that's slightly annoying is that it does it doesn't have a particularly nice smell, but I actually don't care. It's quite a thick consistency, so really and truly, a little goes a very, very long way. This is the most amazing moisturiser ever. I could go on about this, but I will shush now. But it really is amazing. So loving, loving, loving this as my evening moisturiser. Something that I probably should have mentioned when I was talking to you about my cleanser is the eye makeup remover that I've been really enjoying using. And like I said before, I do have really quite sensitive eyes and I really don't like eye makeup removers which are quite oily. It just, there's something about it that I just, ugh, I just really don't like on my eyes. So this one is... I found to be amazing. It doesn't sting, it doesn't make my eyes red, my eyes just have no kind of adverse reactions to this at all. So I love this and this is the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover from The Body Shop. I think you can actually get this in the kind of oily version, I'm pretty sure you can. So if you are one of these people that prefers an oil based eye makeup remover, maybe try that one. But this just says it's for all skin types and it gets your makeup off really nicely, very easily. You don't have to really rub at your eyes, which you really shouldn't do anyway. It really is very, very good for sensitive eyes. So if you have sensitive eyes, I would totally recommend trying this one out because I've really loved using this. I've repurchased it quite a number of times and I'm still loving it. So eye makeup remover from The Body Shop. Really, really good. Love this one. Moving on to the eye cream that I've been absolutely loving using in my evening skincare routine is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Again, this is one that I used many, many years ago and stupidly didn't use for a long time and then I've repurchased it again recently and I absolutely love it. It is a very, very thick consistency, another very thick consistency, so a very, very small about just dotted around the orbital bone is absolutely perfect. It also um, it doesn't migrate up into your eyes, so you know when you have those eye creams and you wake up in the morning you're like, oh my eyes, like the cream is in them and it's really uncomfortable. This one doesn't do that, it really does kind of stay put and it really gently and beautifully hydrates. I really enjoy using this, 
it feels very luxurious and it really is a very very nice and effective eye cream so a couple of other kind of side products that i like to use the first one I'm going to talk to you about is one that I really like to use if my skin is just a complete nightmare and I've got loads of breakouts. This is one that I love to use for that purpose because it seems to kind of calm everything down a bit and it is the Dermalogica Clearing Skin Wash. It is a tiny little bit drying but nothing kind of horrendous for me and like I said if I use kind of quite a rich moisturizer after this it doesn't have any kind of really drying effects on my skin but I do really like to use this if I've had quite a few breakouts I find this is really a really great product for that purpose but this I only use if my skin has gone absolutely cray cray another product along the cleansing lines again that I like to use kind of once a week just to give my skin a really kind of nice deep cleanse and this is a much more luxurious cleanser. I know I said that I tend to prefer to buy cheaper cleansers. I do like to have this one just to use once a week to really give my skin kind of a treat and a very deep cleanse, like I said. And this is the Sarah Chapman Skinesis Ultimate Cleanse. So this is an oil cleanser and it really is super luxurious. It smells beautiful. It's kind of very... Um, it's very soothing and what I like to do with this is really really massage it really really well all over my face and my neck as well and then I like to you know I like to really really work it into my skin and then I take a um, a damp mitt and kind of wipe it all away uh, very thoroughly so that's just to give my skin kind of a really, really deep, proper cleanse. Another product that I really enjoy using, again, just once a week, because like I said at the beginning, I do have quite sensitive skin, and if I use this type of thing more than once a week, my skin gets a little bit cross with me. So once a week, I use this, which is the Apivita Face Scrub with Olive. And this is a really, really nice face scrub. It has just enough granules in it to make you feel like you're actually exfoliating your face thoroughly but it's not too harsh on your skin so that's amazing it also has this really really refreshing feel to it so once you've put it on your face you massage it all in and then you wash it off and it literally feels like somebody has blown a load of cold air onto your face. It has that beautiful cooling sensation and it just is really refreshing and my skin always feels really really clean and soft and smooth after using this. So this is a really beautiful exfoliator for your face. I'm really enjoying using this one. So for my morning skincare routine I don't have a kind of very prolonged and very complicated morning skincare routine because I have a young child and do not have the time, to be perfectly honest, to pamper my skin in the mornings. So I have to kind of just do something quite basic, quite simple, quite quick. And so what I do is use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water just to kind of cleanse off any excess makeup that might accidentally be left on my skin or to get off any moisturizers or anything that might have just built up a bit. After I've done the cleanser I literally just go straight in with a moisturizer. I literally just cleanse and moisturize and eye cream and then I put my makeup on. So the two moisturizers that I chop and change between using are this one which is by Goldfaden MD and it's called Solution Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturiser. It says it's a multifaceted hydrating moisturiser, delivers a brightening glow to all skin types. For me it doesn't really do much brightening but it is quite nice and hydrating and I love the fact that it's very very light so it really sits very nicely under makeup keeps your skin hydrated and nice and smooth and is a very very nice base for your makeup. If I'm not using that and I want to give my skin a serious treat, I use the Creme de la Mer, the moisturising lotion. 
Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, well, that's bloomin' expensive, and it really is, which is kind of the only thing that really annoys me about this product. I first bought this just before my wedding because I wanted to try and make sure my skin was literally as perfect as I could get it. And I have to say, this worked wonders on my skin at that time. Thank goodness my skin was completely... I had no spots at all on my skin for my wedding day. For you! And I think it is all down to this. So when my skin really needs a special treat, I give it this because it really is beautiful. Every now and then, if it's kind of a special occasion or my skin just needs that extra pick-me-up, I will use this underneath my makeup and I adore it. I just wish it wasn't quite so expensive. So the final thing that I use on my face in the mornings is an eye cream and the one that I've been really enjoying using is the Clinique Even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector Eye Cream and this is slightly tinted so you basically just dot it underneath your eyes and pat it in and it does give you a tiny little bit of coverage. It also is quite brightening and very very light and very easy to wear underneath your makeup and just gives you that extra little bit of correction for around the eye area so this is one that I've been really enjoying using in the mornings and it also doesn't irritate your eyes in any way so love using this one and that is it that is the rundown of the skincare that I enjoy using on a daily basis I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please please give me a very happy thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe I also mentioned in my last video that I am now on Instagram so I would also love it if you guys would come over and follow me on there too it really genuinely does mean so much to me when I see that people are subscribing and following me I just it it really makes my day I can't even tell you it's amazing so thank you again so much you guys for watching and I will see you very very soon for another video take care bye